Welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources. Let's review post-infectious glomerulonephritis. Um, in addition to group A beta hemolytic streptococci such as strep pyogenes, numerous other infections can be associated with post-infectious glomerulonephritis. Virtually any infectious agent can cause it, including Hep B, C, CMV, you know, staphylococcal infections, um, and what happens here is that you want to look for the characteristic appearance of a smoky cola or tea colored urine on presentation. This abnormal urine color is from the hematuria, red blood cell cast, and proteinuria. Um, it's important to understand that patients can also have uh, throat or skin infections, uh, rheumatic fever like symptoms, and a pharyngitis. The, there's also periorbital edema and hypertension, which are common. And the best initial test is an anti-streptolysin ASO test and anti-hyaluronic acid test. So that's a key thing. The important finding also is that the complement levels are low, so C3 levels are low. But the most accurate test is the renal biopsy showing humps on electron microscopy. IgG and C3 will be deposited in the mesangium as subepithelial humps, and treatment is largely supported with management of fluid, overload, and hypertension with diuretics. The vast majority of cases can resolve spontaneously, and understand that in pediatric population, the presentation is going to be very similar, and complications like hyperkalemia, hyperphosphatemia, hypocalcemia, acidosis, a uremia or seizures are commonly seen. Um, antibiotics, if they're given, such as penicillin, can be given for 10 days, but sodium restriction and diuresis along with fluid and electrolyte management are key. Understand also the fact that um, the streptozin test, which is the slight agglutination test, is required here. And so as a recap, let's just review some of the key points. You're looking for an infection. Um, almost any infectious agent can cause this. You are looking at the characteristic smoky cola tea colored urine. That's what you'll look for on the board exam. Um, C3 levels are low. You would get the ASO and the AHT test and understand that if you need a definitive um, diagnosis then you'd go with the renal biopsy. Treatment is with um, managing the hypertension and fluid and electrolyte management. Thank you for listening and good luck in your preparation.